All right, gonna show more examples that Allah, the God of Islam, is just a pagan Arabian moon deity. Gonna show some pictures of pagan ancient moon gods showing that the reason why Islam has the prevalence of the moon symbol is because they're worshiping a pagan moon god. Islam is essentially just pagan Middle Eastern moon worship repackaged. So here are some of the photos. Here is the first picture of a ancient Mesopotamian moon tablet and you have right there the hands going up to the moon. What does that look like? Well, when Muslims pray, they do the same thing. They bow their heads towards Mecca and lift their hands up to the moon, to the solar stars. It is essentially lunar worship. That's all that Islam is. And this tablet is essentially the moon god Allah before Islam. Here is the next picture of a Babylonian Middle Eastern uh, moon deity. And again, you know, you have the moon deity, you have the shining lights on top of his head. And again, this is Allah before Islam, this Babylonian moon deity, because Allah Islam is just ancient Babylonian mysticism. It's ancient Arabian moon worship. Here's another picture of a Mesopotamian moon god. And again, you see the crescent moon with the star in the middle of the crescent moon. Hence where Islam gets that symbol from, pagan Middle Eastern moon worship. And this tablet shows that, and you have the moon god of Mesopotamia right on that tablet. Now here's a really interesting picture of Allah and his three daughters paying homage to Allah. And then you have the moon right in front of Allah. Very, very interesting. Uh, depiction of Allah before Islam, the depiction of the pre-Islamic uh, version of Allah, before Muhammad simply made him the god of Islam. So you have Allah and his three daughters paying homage to him. Because Allah did in fact have three daughters. You know, Muslims will try to deny that, but Muslims don't realize that before Islam, Allah had three daughters in a pagan Arabian moon worship. Now here's another picture of, again you have Allah with the moon, and then you have this other picture of the moon with the star right in the middle of it. Then you have the moon god of the, of the Middle East right below it. Again, another pre-Islamic depiction of the Arabian moon god, Allah. Now here is the final picture of that same Mesopotamian moon tablet, uh, basically giving homage to the moon. And again, notice the star in the middle of the moon. That's who Muslims are worshiping. They're worshiping a pagan Middle Eastern moon god. You see that they'll try to deny it. They'll say, oh, we don't worship a moon god. But when you really get down to it, when you look at the history of where Allah comes from, he's a moon god. He's a pagan Middle Eastern moon god that Muhammad simply, because what Muhammad did was he simply just borrowed stuff from the Old Testament and mixed it in with pagan Arabian religion, pagan pre-Islamic Arabian religion, because that's all that Islam is. You see, Islam is a creation of the Vatican, by the way, too. And what the Vatican did, because the Vatican is just, is just a Greco-Roman uh, sorry, Greco-Roman pagan religion repackaged. So obviously, they're gonna, when they create Islam, they're gonna take pagan Arabian religion and mix it in with the Old Testament and that's how you get Islam. Just as Roman Catholicism is pagan Greco-Roman religion mixed in with New Testament truth. So that's all Islam is, it's pagan Middle Eastern moon worship. Islam is satanic, it is demonic, and it is repackaged Arabian paganism. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.